Today we're going to be teaching you how to make fire through the use of a battery and steel wool. Let's do it. Okay, so here is our steel wool, and this is our 9 volt battery. And as you can see here, our steel wool is kind of fluffed up, and the reason for that is because steel wool is made up of a bunch of tiny fibers and threads of iron. And the reason why steel wool has the ability to combust and spark is because there's uh, a lot of free oxygen floating in and around it, uh, which allows it to combust very easily versus if you did the same experiment with a block of solid iron, nothing would happen. Um, so as you'll see in our experiment, we've kind of fluffed up and pull apart our steel wool so we can have a larger surface area so there's lots of oxygen, which allows it to combust more easily. Um, so we have this current from, a ba from this battery. And steel wool has a low resistivity, which means that the current will be higher. And also, compared to your average one and a half volt battery, we use a nine volt battery, which again will cause the current to be even higher. So as the current flows through and connects to the steel wool, it completes the circuit. Um, and as the electricity flows through the steel wool, it creates a high amount of heat. And since there's a lot of this free oxygen floating around and a high amount of heat, sparks start and it starts combusting. So now we're going to talk about uh, how this uh, oxidation works. So here we have uh, just solid iron which has an oxidation state of zero. Then we have our gaseous oxygen which is surrounding it as John mentioned and that has an oxidation state of zero. So when we come over here into this reaction the iron loses its electron and donates it to the oxygen and so in the end of the day it has a positive three oxidation state and oxygen has a negative two. So the oxygen is what's gaining the electrons. Now, friend James is gonna talk about how we make this into fire. So the whole goal was to create fire and with our current uh, setup, we have oxygen and heat already. We just need a fuel source, which you'll see in our demonstration was the paper. And obviously this is very applicable in the sense that if you go camping or hiking, um, if you have a battery with you and you take steel wool, you can have yourself a fire. Okay, so here we have our steel wool. Uh, James has a battery. Uh, here's the positive side and the negative side in the bag. Then I have our paper here, which is going to be our fuel source. So when James touches the positive end to the steel wool, uh, it'll spark, and then the spark will carry throughout the steel wool, and we'll put the paper in uh, to catch fire, and that will be uh, our fuel source. And that's what actually catches on fire. So, James, go ahead. And just like that, we have fire. Now that we can make fire, let's go camping.